Okay, here's a quick, easy way to test all your caps that you want to try out in one fell swoop. Normally, your capacitor wire would run from the center to the outer lug, and then it's grounded to the pot here. So all you have to do is run a little jumper wire with an alligator clip on one end, connect it like it, the capacitor would be, and this is going to hang out of the pick guard. And then all you have to do with the other side, you know, it's grounded on, usually grounded to the pot. You just need to ground this side to something. It could, you, anything that's ground on your guitar, but it's easiest to go to your, your uh, guitar jack and just clip it right there. And you can see right now I'm getting no capacitance reading because it's grounded. But as soon as I take this off, you see this is a 0 0.023 capacitor. See? So basically that's what the capacitor is doing is grounding your signal and it's going through that capacitor. Okay, well the next step is I'll put it together and show you what it looks like. So here's what it looks like when you get the pick guard back on. Just you know, put a couple of pick guard screws in right here just to hold it on, one up at the top. And just be sure that this doesn't touch anything you'll ground it. And by the way, I have this wired like my Nash is wired. Let me show you. Uh, let me unclip that. Which I kind of like the way it was wired. And let's see if you can see this. It's pretty simple. You know, the wiring where you can jump the bridge in the middle right here to get your tone on your bottom pot for your bridge. I just jump the middle and the neck. So these two are get together and the bridge goes directly to the lower pot. So it's got its own pot tone by itself. That's all, it's just a little variation. All right, here we go. You saw how I wired it. You know that uh, this tone control is connected to the neck and middle and the number four position in between and then this tone control is just for the bridge but it also works on number two so let's see what it sounds like without a cap whatsoever <laughs> You see I got quite a handful of caps over here. The part where I say don't waste your money is I my first impression was the only thing that really makes a difference is the value. And I'm trying anything from a 0.022 to a 0.04749 to a 0.1. The standard in the old Strass was 0.1. Then they eventually went to a 0.05 or 0.047. And I... Don't waste your money on those expensive magic tone caps that everybody advertises. I, I know RS Guitar Works has one for $17. It's the magic. You know, hand wound and all this other stuff. Well, this is what happens when you buy a fancy one. I mean, I barely even handled it. It's a mojo tone. This is the .022. The lead broke off, you know, it's just flimsy. I mean, they are sending me a replacement, but after listening to the sound, I don't think it's worth the money. Whoop. And this is, we will try this one. This is a Mojo Tone 0.047. Now, these are, what, these are Astron Paper and Oil. This one is a, oh, it's kind of hard. This is a 0.1. But I don't think the construction makes that much difference, but I'll have to admit that I'm probably going to stick with one of these sprigs that a friend of mine sent me years ago. This is the 0.047, and the one that's on here right now is the 0.1. What I found that I like that I didn't realize would be a useful 
is to uh, use the tone control on zero for your fuzz. It just makes a really cool fuzz sound, and I'll try to duplicate that here in a minute. But all right, now I've got the tone cap engaged there. <laughs> Okay, let's go to the second position. I got it on ten. Let's go to five. And then zero. And middle all the way up. Let's try the Magic Mojo Tone. I need my glasses. Okay, everything's on 10 right now. I'm going to end up going with and this is 0.047 I don't know I'm tending towards the 0.047 as the classic strat cap which Fender went to I guess a little later in the 60s just so you can see there's no difference but you get the idea just go out there and get a handful of them they don't have to be expensive and give them a shot i mean well let me show you what this thing does on the fuzz which is what i really am enjoying here Got a lot of useful. Okay, you get the idea. Don't spend a lot of money on them. Just get get a couple of values that you want to try. Different constructions and give it a shot. I'll talk to you guys later.